I'm going to show you how to customize your Medrex Savant audiometer. All of our equipment is computer-based and therefore compatible with your patient database, such as NOAA, TIMS, or CycleNet. Here in NOAA 4, simply click on your patient and open the Avant A2D icon. This will take you to the main Avant screen, where you'll see several icons listed on the right-hand side. Audiometry for all of your testing, air, bone, speech, and masking. The hearing loss simulator and master hearing aid can be found here. The temp and pictures icon are shortcuts to that software, so you can upload temp data or your video otoscope pictures. And then, of course, the exit icon will take you back into NOAA. All of your testing, however, will be done under the audiometry button. From this screen, you can see several icons up at the top, as well as a bunch of options listed on the right-hand side. Up at the top are your different test modules. Under audiometry is anything with tone, such as air conduction, bone conduction, discrete frequency UCL, or MCL with tone. SRT testing is for your just your speech reception threshold. The WR tab is for your word recognition or discrimination testing. Also, if you prefer a speech MCL or a speech UCL, that would be done under this tab as well. You also have the Stanger, which is available, as well as the QuickSend software. The next icon over is the automated audiometry feature, which is also customizable in the sense that you can customize the frequencies you test, the method you use for testing, signal type, and the sequence. The automated audiometry feature can be added at the time of purchase or in the future. The next icon is the journal or notepad feature. This enables you to make notes on the session that you participated in with your client today, such as video otoscope findings, hearing aid recommendations, chief complaints, anything of that sort. And the monitor icon here will allow you to change the volume or intensity that you're hearing the beeps and words or the volume or intensity of the patient's voice in the sound booth through the talkback microphone. On the right-hand side, you'll see your two channels, your test channel, channel one, as well as channel two, your masking channel. You'll also see the two ear icons here, right and left. Different transducer options are listed here. And as I mentioned a moment ago, your air conduction and bone conduction is done under the standard audiometry, discrete frequency UCL, as well as MCL with tone. You also have the option to have a continuous or pulsed tone. Masking is turned on by clicking on the masking bar. And it's going to automatically route your signal to the non-test ear. Choose the appropriate masking stimulus for whichever you're testing, speech or tone, and choose the appropriate transducer. In the bottom right, you'll see several other icons, such as talk over, discard to discard, to discard a point or threshold, and help. If you click on the help icon, it will automatically bring you to the help files associated with the screen you're currently on, in this case, tone audiometry. You can also search here by simply clicking and typing in your search topic. And this will bring up any of our help files that have discrimination in them. Once you've completed all of your speech testing, you'll notice here everything is summarized for you. SRT, word recognition, aided word recognition if you've performed word rec through free field, MCL testing with speech, and UCL testing with speech if you perform that as well. I'd like to also showcase a few of the options that we can set and customize to your liking. 
Under the options in the top toolbar, you can set different things to your preferences. We'll start on the View tab. I'll mention some of the most common things that we change. The dual plot mode is something that you can change if you don't like to see the audiogram and an overlay. Currently, we're seeing the right and left ears on the same graph. You can change that to dual plot to view the right and left ears separately. You can also choose to take away the white speech canoe as well as the speech sounds. Your default ear can be changed as well to be set to whichever ear you typically start testing. And the plot curves width is something else that we recommend changing. When you get your audiometer, it's typically set to medium. If you change it to thick, it just thickens up the red and blue lines of your audiogram, which makes it easier for you to see, as well as easier for your patients to see for counseling purposes. The next tab over, the audiometry tab, you can customize several things here as well. Currently, I have my audiometer set to up 5, down 10. You can customize that. Some people like to test with the up 5, down 5 method. Default level is set to 65, which can also be customized. This is where your cursor or your testing will start at 1K. You can set it to something softer, like 20, for instance, or even go all the way up to 70 dB. Default tone can also be changed, whether you like continuous or pulsed tone. The default speech input can be changed as well, microphone being live voice, and file being recorded speech, such as the rainbow passage or the Auditech recording, such as the Spondy Word, NU6 word list, or W22 word list. Under the Advanced button, there's also several things that you can commonly change. The pulse time here, the smaller the number, the quicker the beep. The larger the number, the slower the beep. Your PTA frequencies you can change. However, generally, those stay at 500, 1,000, and 2,000. You can customize your high frequency average frequencies as well. And your PTA start level. Your word recognition start level can start at PTA or something like PTA plus 20, 30, or 40. The auto record tone points will automatically record your tone points as you change intensity and move along the frequencies. This saves a step in that you don't have to hit record or save as you find each threshold. And this is an example of what a dual plot would look like. So now we have the right and left ear separated. Down here you'll also notice we've got our PTA calculated based on 500, 1,000, and 2,000. You can customize your printout as well to upload a logo, enter your address information if needed, or your practitioner name and credentials. And here you see you have a nice summarized report. Your audiogram here, as well as your points here. Speech testing is all summarized here. And if you perform quick, then that will also be summarized here. Any patient notes that you made in the notepad or journal feature would also be at the very bottom of your report. Once you've printed and you're ready to save and exit, simply hit the back arrow in the bottom right-hand corner. And from here, you'll just click on Exit. It will prompt you to save to NOAA. And now you have your session saved into NOAA for future reference.